Hey folks, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider. Your old buddy HDR out here on the way home from work today. Today is Tuesday. It is about about as nice as it can get, I guess. About 90, about 90 degrees, we'll call it. Give or take a few degrees there, but it's absolutely uh, stunning out here today to ride home uh, from work with you folks. This morning was about 66 degrees when I rode into work this morning. I did not use Frieza gear. I also uh, did not even wear a sweatshirt. All I wore was my mesh jacket with the liner in it. And uh, it was absolutely beautiful morning to ride to work. So other than that, what's been going on? A lot of great responses from yesterday's ride. So what the heck else has been going on? Well, not a lot. Um, told you about the painting of the porch. I showed you guys a picture of that yesterday. Yes, it came out very good. And Mrs. HDR, like any good-hearted, uh, wonderful wife that us husbands have to deal with, will know that she said we need a second coat on there. So. Um, and I said, it's not going to be through this week, kind of. I said, maybe on Saturday. Uh, it's a good possibility Saturday I'll get that done for you. But I just don't feel like doing much of anything after work. I mean, I take a short ride usually on the way home. As you can see, today we're on our alternate route. So I'm taking a different way home today. Um, just to give you guys a little bit different scenery. Give me a different scenery, right? I get tired of riding back and forth the same way to work and home all the time. But... Um, I, I just like to go home and relax after work. I don't, I don't really want to go home and do work, especially painting. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't mind do, doing my hobbies, such as uh, going home, putting my uh, my vlogs together. You know, my getting my videos ready for YouTube and uploading them for you guys and girls out there. I don't mind that at all. But I don't really want to go home and paint. But hey. If I had the energy, I would do it. But it seems like once I hit 50, I just don't have the energy anymore after work. I used to go home after work and I would mow the grass. You know, I could work in the garden for a few hours. I could, you know, I'd probably even paint the porch. But uh, today, not, not much anymore. So once you hit the age of 50, your body wants to chill out at a certain time of the day. And it just says, leave me the hell alone, right? Um, now I can tell you this is interesting and somebody told me yesterday was it yesterday on oh, my comments uh, when I said something about talking too much and they said and, and thank you for this they said keep talking because sometimes you come up with a topic that, that people like to listen to so that's cool thank you for that comment uh, I told Mrs. HDR that she's like oh god don't egg him on don't tell him to keep talking <laughs> but uh, what I was just thinking was um, what was I just thinking? How many of you out there uh, have, have done that? How many of you out there have hit the age of 50 or 40? You start feeling it around 40, right? Um, and you hit the age of 50 and you find out that uh, you just your body just doesn't want to do what you wanted to do. Now let me back up a little bit with that. On Sunday when I was painting that porch, I was on, on my hands and knees for a long time, right? Brush painting and then rollering until I figured out I got working smarter than harder I found out that broom trick I told you about in the uh, the roller brush handle and I was able to roll it on that way a lot faster but uh, sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to figure this stuff out so anyway <laughs> do you get this too where your brain is telling your body like your brain remembers when you were younger right so so it's working you like you're 20 you're like, I could do this. No problem, man. I could do all this work. No biggie. But then you wake up and you got this other part of your life called your body. And your body says, holy hell. What did you just do to me? You beat me up yesterday. You know, I was kneeling down. I was stretching backwards. I was, uh, you know, rolling with your brush, you know, or you're touching with your brush and your rollers and making the, you know, bending over and had knee pads on and oh my god so my brain's like yeah HDR you can do this keep working hard buddy but then like I said I woke up in the morning my body said what the hell did you do to me 
So yeah, do you guys get that out there? Is that, I guess that's a natural thing, right? A uh, natural part of getting older. Uh, just like legally you're being allowed to take naps and nobody questioning you like, why are you taking a nap? It's because I'm over 50 and I've earned that right if that's what I want to do when I get home from work. And I mean, not to mention I get up every morning, you know, quarter after four to go to work. Maybe I'm a little tired. So you take a little snooze. It doesn't hurt. You know, maybe just a half hour. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right, folks. Well, let me hear from you out there. Hopefully, you're enjoying this alternate route home. Um, I don't like to, and I try really not to put back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back videos out like I've been doing this week. Because I did Sunday, Monday, I think Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today is now Tuesday. And I'll probably post this video today. Um, I like to stagger with you folks. I don't want to get too stale and be, you know, too overbearing in your email saying, Oh, Harley Day Rider posted a new video. Especially if I don't have really anything to say. I mean, I'm not really taking you anywhere, you know, adventurous or cool or anything, but uh, just kind of riding with you there. And I don't know. I just like to chat to all you folks after work. I think this is a great time of day to talk to you. Uh, going to work in the morning with this uh, ghost, this Drift Ghost HD camera. It does not do a great job in low light, and the low light response of it is just horrible. Uh, it's got a very small sensor in it, and it's just, it doesn't do well with low light. So, uh, I've learned not to talk to you on the way to work, because the video would be absolutely horrible. But on the way home, I thought, I like talking to you folks, and uh, hopefully you don't mind listening to me. Uh, of course, we got a traffic jam here. Of course, this is probably where those tree cutters moved from a couple weeks ago, if you remember. Yeah, I think it is. I, you know, kind of complained about that. I mean, I know they do a good job. But... Uh, I guess they don't have too much of the road blocked off here. You see where they're cutting these trees all back? They, they, they work for the power company. They're a subcontract unit. And... So they work for the power company, and you can see they cut them back away from the power lines is what they're doing. Um, right there. I don't know what company this is, but... Well, that's a good name for a tree business. Trees Incorporated. Guess you can't go wrong there. Hey, what do you do? Uh, we cut trees. <laughs> but you can see up in these trees, if you can see the way these branches are hanging into these power lines and stuff. That's what that's, these companies get subcontracted out to do. Cars ride my ass, so I'm gonna get out of here. But yeah, so their companies are subcontracted to clean all those up there, so. And, and I, I guess we're, we gotta be glad to have them because, you know, in bad windstorms and stuff, that it helps it so we don't lose our power as much as those trees whipping and ripping those lines down, so. All right, everybody, let me hear about your old age stories, midlife crisis stories, your, uh, your, oh my God, I woke up one morning and I'm a 50 story or a 45 or a 40 whenever you started feeling the pain. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for riding along with me after work and thanks for letting me rattle off your ear there. It's nice to have somebody to ride with uh, after work and on the way home. Take care. I will talk to you next time. Remember, ride your own ride. Be safe out there, everybody. Harley Day Rush will be down and out once again in the lovely southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now.